Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at the index and match functions used together for an advanced lookup. Now for any of you watching who have not heard of the index and match functions before these functions are two that you really got to be familiar with and we're going to look at in this video the advantages of them and why it is better than VLOOKUP. So let's take a look at what we have here. I have a course ID 4202 and I wish to return the company who that course was booked with and how many delegates uh, were on it. So for some reason I want to perform that kind of lookup whether it be for a report I'm creating or just some general analysis. Over on my other sheet, I have a big list of this course data. I've got over 3,000 rows here of pretend course data. That ID is somewhere in this list. You can see I've got the name of the company in column B and how many delegates in E. And I want to look up the data from course 4202, which will be in here somewhere. So I'm going to use a lookup function. Now the most well-known lookup function of all is VLOOKUP and it's a really useful function, like crazy brilliant function. But when you compare it to other lookup functions, INDEX and MATCH as a combination is commonly thought of for the gurus out there as a better alternative. Some of the reasons for that are that it's more flexible and dynamic, so VLOOKUP cannot look to its left. So if I want to look for the course ID and return the company, VLOOKUP cannot do that unless I reorganize this list. VLOOKUP will also ask me for the column index number. It's a very rigid, very strongly structured function. But if I use the match function with index, it's very versatile, it's gonna look that stuff up itself, it's not going to be broken by any inserted columns or any specific numbering. And index and match actually runs faster than VLOOKUP as well. Now, unless you deal with large spreadsheets, you're not going to really notice the difference. It's the overwhelming popularity of VLOOKUP. And I'm not doing VLOOKUP an injustice. It's a great function. Uh, please don't think that. I don't want to hurt its feelings. But index and match will run faster in your big, meaty, spreadsheets if you use such things okay i've got two examples here to do first example look for the id return the company that is looking to its left vlookup can't do that index and match can in cell c3 for a company let me start with the index function here its job is to return a value or a reference of a cell at the intersection of a row and column so just like VLOOKUP, it can return a value, but we have to tell it the row and the column. Now, obviously, we're not going to do that. We're going to use our function called MATCH to do that. So let me finish with index here, and it will prompt me for the array, and then the row number, and it's optional for a column number. So the array is going to be for the name of the company. I'm going to click on my courses sheet and select column B here for the company and I'm going to put in my comma so that along the top here it's now prompting me for a row number now that I don't know that's going to be my lookup that's where I will bring in the match function let me just go back to the other sheet for a moment so that you can see what I'm writing so I'm looking in the courses sheet column B row number let's write match the job of match return the position of an item in a range so match is going to find the row number for index let me type in this match function and it looks very similar to vlookup for those of you who know that function well the lookup value is going to be cell b3 can you look for that course ID please comma the lookup array let me jump to the courses sheet that is column C 
looking column C for the ID. Comma, the match type. I've got three options. So you get an extra option to what VLOOKUP's capable of as well. A very rare reason to use VLOOKUP. But if you're doing approximate matching, you get to choose less than or greater than. Now we want zero. We want a exact match. We are using a ID. So an exact match is what we want. Close bracket for match and I'll close it as well for the index function. And if I press enter to run that, and just quickly resize that column, I have the name of the company. So that is the formula. Return the value from column B, where this is the row number. And the match function is finding the row number for me. Now by using those two functions together as a combination, I was able to return a value from a column to the left of the one I was looking in, which is something that VLOOKUP is not capable of. It is a strength when you are comparing them. So, 7Cs Imports is the name of that company, 4202. Now, in the next cell, I wanted to do another example of index and match together. Now, I wanted to do an example of a two-way lookup here. That's what I wanted to do. So I want to look for that course ID in the whole table. I was going to look up the column as well. So one of the other big limitations of VLOOKUP, in fact, let me quickly open VLOOKUP up. Uh, it may be good to remind maybe some of you what it looks like. It wants a lookup value, the table array, and then the column's index number. It wants a specific number of the column. Now we're going to get a match function here to find that column. So let me start up an index function. So it prompts me for the array. And this time, I'm going to the courses sheet, and I'm going to select the entire table. That's what I'm going to do, the entire table. Comma. Let me jump back to the other sheet, just so that you guys can see what I'm writing easier. So the entire table of the other sheet. Now it wants the row number. Now this is just like the previous example of this, so I'm picking up the speed a little bit. Let's have a match on that lookup value, that ID, within the uh, column for course ID here. And zero for an exact match. And I'll put in my comma so I'm on the next one. Now I didn't bother with this a moment ago. It's an optional question for the column number. Previously, I specified column B, so I didn't need to tell it what column. Now I'm getting it to look at the entire table, or five columns. So I need to tell it what column number to retrieve the value from. So what I'm going to use here is a match function. I'm going to ask it to find the column for me. Now the lookup value will be the header. Number of delegates is the name of this column, is the header I've used. Don't really need the sheet name there. That's just because I've been clicking around between the sheets uh, during this, this formula. Wouldn't do any harm, but not necessary. Comma after that, the lookup array. Let me jump over to the courses sheet and select all the headers. Now, very important here that these two headers are an exact match. The strings are exactly the same. That is essential for this to work in the way I'm running this. So I'm intending it to look for the number of delegates cell within those five cells. It match is going to look at that and go, oh, it's the fifth cell. It's the fifth column. I'm going to prompt it for an exact match there and come out of here. I'll show the formula in a second, guys. I know that was quick. Tells me that there's six delegates on that. Let me just open up this function. So this is what it looks like. It's commonly referred to as a two-way lookup. It's an extremely versatile, extremely dynamic lookup. Uh, takes away all the rigidity of a, a VLOOKUP. Then it's looking the entire table array from that row number and that column. So it's looking in both directions, vertically and horizontally. If I show you what this looks like, this match function looks for that row number and returns the answer is row 2256. 
this match function runs, tells it it's in column 5, index returns the value from column 5 and row 2256. It's similar as that, the two match functions doing all the legwork, doing all the hard work, index simply returning the value when it's told where to return it from. So, last thing is just to prove that this is working all right. At row 2256, seven Cs and six 2256. If I shoot down this video to row 2256, ba -ba 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 -ba, 2256, where are you? Here we go. We have seven Cs import and six delegates. Just to confirm if anybody needs that, that is working fine. So this video was all about using index and match, talking about some of its benefits when compared to the ever popular VLOOKUP. It's an alternative lookup function. It is a little bit bigger, a little bit more difficult to write. You don't always need it. I'm certainly not putting a, a down on VLOOKUP, but there are a, you know, a few key advantages, four or five key advantages that index match has over VLOOKUP. So it's Definitely worth learning if you want to get to Excel guru status, if you want to be an Excel Jedi, you've got to know those two functions. They're going to impress your uh, your peers in the office, that is for sure, and give you powerful spreadsheets, powerful formulas. I hope you found this video uh, useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel, and come check us out at computergargar.com.